Hi, this is the do-it-yourself resource. This video is meant to show how to build our do-it-yourself workout bar, a sand-filled PVC bar that you can use to do basic exercises at home. Our simple and cost-effective design is easy to build with all of your materials and tools ready. Let's start building the do-it-yourself workout bar. Step one, cut three inches PVC to length. For this step, you're going to need your large piece of three inch PVC. Grab a tape measure and measure out six feet on the PVC. Marking a line using a permanent marker. Set the PVC on your workbench and bring it to the edge. Use your clamps to hold the PVC to the bench and then proceed to cut the PVC with your coping saw. Use quick motions and make sure to keep your cuts straight. Step two, cut three quarter inch PVC to length. Repeat step one for your three quarter inch PVC, but instead of measuring out a six foot length to cut, measure out two four and a half inch sections. You want to clamp the PVC to your bench and then proceed to cut through with your coping saw. You should end up with two four and a half inch sections of PVC. This will serve as the handles to your PVC workout bar. Step three, cut paracord to length. Grab your eight feet of paracord and measure out four feet of length. Mark your measurement and get your scissors to cut the paracord rope right in half. Step four. Tie double fisherman's knot loop with paracord. For this step, you're going to be referring to a YouTube video I've made which details how to tie a double fisherman's knot. You're going to be using this knot to tie your paracord pieces into loops. Get your two pieces of four foot paracord and then follow the steps in the video linked in the description to tie the two ends of the loop together. Once the double fisherman's knot is tied, stretch your loops out on the table and measure the length of the loop. With the loop stretched fully like you're pulling back a rubber band, you should get a measurement of at least 16 inches on the paracord if you're using a 3 inch diameter PVC. The measurement I just gave of 16 inches is a recommendation based on my use of the PVC workout bar. You should make your own adjustments in loop length when you attach the loop to your 6 foot PVC in step 5, the next step. Step 5, create handles attached to 6 foot PVC. In this step, your job is to weave your paracord loops through the two three quarter inch diameter pieces of PVC that you cut in step two. After the loops are through the PVC, they're placed on the large six foot length of PVC which you cut in step one. Step six, transfer play sand from bag to bucket. For this step, your goal is to pour your sand into a bucket so that you can more easily scoop the sand into the PVC chamber that you will create in step seven. Simply open your play sand bag and pour the contents into your bucket. I recommend doing this over a tarp as seen in the animation. Step seven, place first end cap on PVC and fill with sand. For this step, you will need your bucket filled with sand, your scooper slash garden trowel, your funnel, one of the PVC end caps, and the long six foot section of PVC that you cut in step one with the handles. First, tightly place your PVC end cap on the pipe. You can use a mallet to ensure that the end cap is placed as tightly as possible. You do not want this end cap to fall off as this will mean a major spill when you're working out. Once the end cap is placed and is tight, tilt the chamber upwards on your desk or place it on the floor and lift it up. You will then want to use your scooper and funnel to shovel sand into the pipe until it is full. In step 8, we're going to put the final end cap on the pipe. Step 8, place final end cap and tape down handles. With the chamber completely filled with sand, place your final end cap on to seal the chamber. Once again, ensure that this is tight before you decide to use the workout bar. To finish this last step, grab your roll of duct tape and rip off two 6 inch sections as well as two thin, quartered 10 inch sections. I found that a very cost effective and easy way to fix the handles to the PVC was to apply two pieces of duct tape to the handles. One of the pieces of duct tape was placed in such a way that it looped around the edges of the paracord resting on the opposite side of the bar from the PVC handles. This placement of duct tape allows us to use it as an anchor point for a second piece of duct tape which holds the handle in place on the bar. The second piece simply sticks the first piece of duct tape to the bar and holds it in place. When fixing the handles to the bar, make sure that they are spaced in such a way that you can comfortably grab the handles and balance the bar. To do this, I found a location for myself by standing at the center of the bar and then marking two places where I approximately had my shoulder width. With step 8 complete and the handle secure, 
you are finished creating your do-it-yourself workout bar. This piece of exercise equipment is very flexible and is sure to get you burning calories. I hope it was a simple build. Check out my next video in this series to view a bunch of exercises you can do with the bar so that you feel more comfortable using it. More information is offered on my website, thedoityourselfresource.com. As well, feel free to like our Facebook page and watch us live on twitch.tv. Links are in the description. Thank you very much and goodbye.